I carry four things with me to the hospital, an ID badge, a stethoscope, a pen, and a source of caffeine. I've done this video pretty much every year since medical school and all throughout residency. And every year my bag gets smaller and smaller. And now that I'm an attending, I'm just down to four essential things that I bring with me to the hospital. So the first thing I have is my ID for obvious reasons. Uh, my ID gives me access to the parking garage, the hospital, and certain restricted areas. In the back of my ID, I have a quick reference card for some of the emergent medications that we use in emergency medicine. And I have everything on a retractable lanyard like this. So I clip everything onto my pocket and I can just scan in and out without having to remove my ID. So the next item I have is my stethoscope. And this one I've had since medical school. It's your standard Lipman Cardiology 3. And it's your just standard stethoscope, no crazy bells and whistles. But I also have a higher tech one. This one is from a company called Echo. And this one's cool because it can actually do some noise canceling and amplify some sounds. So if you need to listen to your heart sounds and lung sounds really in detail, this one is great. But it is a little heavier and you do have to charge it. So 95% of the time I just use my regular uh, Litman stethoscope. So the next item I have is my pen. And I tend to be pretty picky about the pens that I use. So this one's the one that I've been using forever since medical school. It's the Zebra Multi Pen with different colors and a pencil. Probably the one that I use the most and it has black, red, green, blue, and a pencil. There are a couple other ones that I rotate through. This one is the most recent one. I got it from Korea and I like this one because it has kind of unconventional colors. So it has black, sage green, slate blue, and salmon color. So kind of variation of the classic colors. And then lastly, this one is from a company called Photo and it's probably one of the slimmer multi-pens that you can find and this one has pencil black and red color. And the reason why I like multi-pens is because I used to have a system for how I took notes and kept track of all the patients in the department. So black would be patient's name and age and room number. Um, blue would be things that I had to check up on. So following up on their CAT scan results or x-ray or labs. And then red would be kind of things to know. So whether they were DNR, DNI, or whether they were really sick, I would have like a little notation for them. So that's why I like the multi pens. And now that I'm an attending, I actually do most of my note taking and like keeping track of patients on the computer. Um, so maybe sadly, next thing to go from my list is the pens. And next year, I'll only have three things that I carry with me to the hospital. Um, but it's hard to imagine coming to the hospital without a pen. So they'll probably stay. Last but not least, I have my source of caffeine. I have this thermos from Zoji Rushi, and this thermos is really good, almost too good, because if you put in something really hot, it'll stay boiling hot the entire shift. Um, so usually I like to cool things down a little bit to a more drinkable temperature. I'll usually bring some caffeinated tea or uh, energy drink if I have that. So that's all I bring with me to the hospital. I probably don't even need a bag anymore, but I do bring my tote bag because you can never tell if it's gonna be cold or hot in the hospital, and I usually like to bring a jacket. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are interested in checking out my other What's in My Bag videos, I'll link them in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.